Hi everyone, Dr. Mac with another video. Today's video is showing everyone how to do a wax up or a mock up when you're doing any porcelain veneer case. Now I just follow the same protocol if even if I'm doing a resin smile makeover, but this is very important for everyone to understand for you to test drive that smile for your patient to kind of like test drive the smile as well so what you want to do is you want to have your final result in mind before you start to proceed with any case so whenever you do any smile makeover either porcelain or resin what you want to do is you want to have that end result in your mind so you can test drive that in terms of the function, in terms of the occlusion, in terms of the shape, texture, color. So your patient's happy, you're happy, and then you proceed with it. Now there are three ways in general how we do a wax up or a mock up. Uh, first one is you can send it to the lab, take an impression and the lab does like a wax up for you and you can give some instructions to the lab. The second one is your digital smile design, DSD, which is quite popular. And the third one, which you kind of like do, is you do it by yourself, which is with, with the help of some resin. You can do a direct mock-up in the patient's mouth and kind of like test it based on the face, based on the smile, based on the lip proportions and everything. Or you can kind of like take an impression on, on the model. You can do kind of like the wax up by yourself or with the resin, build it up where you're happy with. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a hand design mock-up with resin. I'm going to show you on the model. Uh, on a mannequin model so you have some idea so if you don't have availability for DSD at your clinic if you don't have a lab that you can use how can you do easy design mock-ups by yourself so what I'm gonna do uh, and show you in this video is we're gonna build the teeth up with resin and then I'm gonna refine the prep refine the teeth with some lines and kind of like contour it to the point where I'm happy with the final result and then we are ready to start the porcelain veneers which are called as guided preparation when it comes to porcelain veneers which needs to be started when you have a good mock-up so, so let's show you in this video how a mock-up I do in my clinic or you can do in your clinic in an easy way so let's find out all right so this is the initial teeth condition that you get now you notice the front tooth is a bit bigger in size it's a bit bulky it's a bit damaged as well if you if you see the proportions are a bit wrong as well when tooth is bigger a bit more wider the other one's a bit more uh you know slanted so first thing what we do is correct the proportions we we're going to build one tooth at a time so this is just some packable paste composite i'm going to build up one tooth at a time and what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to correct the proportion where I feel like and if I'm doing it inside the patient's mouth, which I like to do like a direct mock up, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to check along with the face, along with the lip profile, uh, how everything fits nicely, not just in the mouth, but looking at the whole face, because that's also very important. So just take any composite, you can take any color if you want to. If there's a particular shape, uh, shade of color or design that you have in mind that you had initial consult with the patient, you can kind of like use that so the patient can assess that as well. Uh, we don't have to be 100% accurate. You're basically kind of like having a rough idea what the final result can look like. So you kind of like manipulate it from your fingers, from your instrument. A plastic instrument is fine. You can use a bit of bond or a bit of Vaseline if you want to like as a separating medium. And then kind of like prepare that tooth to where the shape looks, okay? So I'm just trying to build up this central incisor to where I'm happy with. And then we go with the second central. Once I'm happy with both the front centrals, then we go with the lateral incisors. And in this case, we're just showing you the front four teeth just to give you a rough idea. Once I'm happy with everything, I'm gonna cure, draw the pencil lines, looking at the line angles and everything. And then we kind of like correct the balance. All right, so if you notice, um, 
I will do a bit different in this video that I generally don't do. So what I've done in this video, because this case was a bit different, so what I've done is I've done something reverse. So generally what I do is I build up the front two teeth, correct the angles, correct the midline, make sure it fits the face and lip proportions correctly what I want. But in this case, what I did is I build up the lateral first after doing the central because I wanted to correct the balance and I wanted to compare one side or one arch to the other arch. So what I wanted to do is once I do the one quadrant, I will go to the other quadrant. So I want to see how the whole upper arch kind of like looks like. So after I've done one side and I'm happy with the balance, now I'm completely doing reverse rather than doing central, central, lateral, lateral. I did one side. Now on the other side, instead of doing the central, I'm doing the lateral incisors. Just because I felt in this case, the centrals after doing just the one, the symmetry, and the proportions were looking much improved and I didn't want the lateral to lose its proportion otherwise one side to another this later would have looked really tiny and small so what I did is I wanted to build up the lateral get the balance right and once I feel like I'm happy with then I'm gonna do the central in the end now generally I would not like to do that I will build up one at a time, but I will build up the front two centrals first. But as I said, in this case, because I wanted to compare one side to another and get the balance and the proportions right, I kind of like did the reverse. So I'm curing the lateral and now I will come back and go to the central incisor and get the balance right. Uh, and if you notice, I check at every single angle. I look at every different view so I can like kind of like compare how the teeth looks from different angles and kind of like get the balance right you don't have to go uh, really predictable and really full-on when it comes to mock-up it's kind of like a rough idea so don't don't feel too much pressure when you're doing this you can just use your plastic instrument even finger or thumb pressure to kind of like analyze how the final result can look like and once you've done this phase then what I will do and you'll see me do is I'm going to draw the line angles, draw the pencil lines to kind of like get the proportions right and then refine it with the burr. And this step would be very important because yes, you're doing a rough idea, but then this design would also help you uh, decide what the final result is going to look like. Um, you can chat with your patient, chat with the lab, take photos and this is kind of like be your guide so in the future once you proceed with the final result it kind of like helps you if you notice uh, that resin was a bit short on that one tooth so do not hesitate to just kind of like add it with a bit, bit of finger pressure and then you'll notice one tooth looks a bit thicker so I kind of like going back with this flat thin plastic instrument in uh, kind of like going in the embrasure area so getting the balance back so that the one teeth doesn't look too wider and have that proportion balance back and I'm kind of like going back back and forth with a plastic instrument correcting kind of like the lens and proportions and once I have a bit of a rough guide and mock up then I'm gonna just cure this and then now I will assess and analyze again and then I will start drawing with some pencil lines getting the line angles right looking at all the three dimensions of the tooth looking at every single angle so we kind of like be a bit more predictable and you will notice uh, that as soon as you start doing these kind of cases like this way you will end up being very predictable your patients will be more happy with you and you start to get predictable results at the same time which is very important is you will notice when you start doing things like this you are doing more additive dentistry so then most of your preps will be in resin or in enamel so you're doing minimal preparation veneers uh, your predictability predictability would be really good at the same time you are doing a lot of minimal invasive dentistry that we dentists really want to do so one, once i'm happy and i've assessed it at different angles you'll start to see that i've start to kind of like correct now with the help of the birds you can use discs you can use um, birds that I'm using here, but the main idea is to correct the line angles, correct the shapes, 
to the point where you are kind of like happy with the final result and very close to that once you're happy with everything then i'll take a lot of photos take an impression as well uh just for the lab and some photos so i can kind of like guide the lab what to do it at the same time these photos you can always come back and forth so in the future if the final result's not not what you actually planned you can go back to the lab or you can communicate with a patient explaining them that this is exactly what they agreed on and what you kind of like showed it to them as well so it does save you legally as well and it's a good guide for you kind of like assess your case and learn from them and this is basically how you can do a hand uh, mock-up you can do it directly in the patient's mouth you can do it kind of like indirect in the model yourself with the wax with the resin but this is very important so if you're if you're new to porcelain veneer process this workflow is really going to solve a lot of those problems and you know disappointment in your porcelain veneer cases and it really really helps you so once you're happy with everything i would suggest practice a bit more and then you know work with this workflow i have a very detailed video on my youtube channel on how you prep portion veneers through guided preps through your mock-ups so you will see that on my youtube channel it's a long 30 minutes video uh, and you will really enjoy that so watch that video if you really enjoy this video do share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video so this is what the final result can look like hope you enjoy